business as a retailer for one year, he is unsure about some of the terms used in business. Explain the difference between the following and how they are recorded in an income statement. So, the difference between the gross profit and the profit for the year, that's the first one. So, answer. And what's gross profit, please? Gross profit. Yeah. When they ask you for the meaning, either you use a formula or you give it in meaning. So, what's gross profit? Sales minus cost of sales, thank you. <laughs> sales or minus cost of sales. Sales minus cost of sales. Or cost of goods sold, okay? Yeah. So, they said, how is being recorded in the income statement? You write trade, trading section, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you guys with me? Yes. You know, I told you, you started ch checking the back of the book to check what the answer is again. Now, the net profit. Who is going to tell me about the net profit or the profit for the year? Profit for the year. Profit for the year. Moment. Profit for the year. How do you get profit for the year? Profit for the year. Adam, profit for the year. Now, profit for the year. You don't even have asset and liability in your income statement. You have it in your statement of financial position. So profit for the year. Now, profit for the year. How do you calculate profit for the year? Profit for the year. Yes. Uh, we did it yesterday. Is the answer how we did it yesterday? No, no, no. I'm saying the question that you said. Profit for the year. What profit? Gross profit minus expenses. Thank you. Gross profit minus expenses. Do we have any other than this class? Yes, we have some sales or profits. We have to do the profit and loss section, right? Profit and loss section. Yes, sir. Yes, please. It was the question that you asked me. Ah, oh, profit of the year. Okay, I had cost of sales. Are you guys getting it, please? Yeah. Now we have carriage inwards. So, what's carriage inwards, please? Carried in what? Not as an inward. Who else? Carried in what? Carried in what? What's carried in what? I still said it yesterday in the class. Carried in what? Carried in what? Carried in what? Yes. Yes. Carriage in what? No. Carriage in what? Carriage in what? Okay. Should I say the meaning? Yes, the meaning. It doesn't have a formula for carriage in what? You take the information into the order. No. It's near the top. No. Say it. No, I got it from each Okay, maybe this is what the quarter I have one hundred. Okay. Take it into my business. Take it, yeah, something like that. But that's not my story to my business. Yeah, it goes out to the business. No. There's something that is actually added to it. You need Adam. Adam, what can we do what? Carried in words. What's on, guys? Carried in words. The amount spent in conveying the product to the premises of the business. The amount spent in conveying the product to the premises of the business. Didn't I say it yesterday? Didn't I say it yesterday? You guys should study. The amount spent in conveying the products purchased 
by the business into its premises. So, where do you record your carriage rewards, Adam? Where do you record your carriage rewards? In the trading section. Is it clear? It's recorded in the trading section. Trading section. Now that I've told you about carriage inwards, so what is carriage outward? Moving. Carriage outwards. Carriage outwards. You guys are not studying, that's the point. Carriage outwards. What is carriage outwards? <laughs> Just find it. What's carriage outwards? The opposite, okay, so. Okay, so moment said carried out what is the opposite of what I said. It's uh, Mr. The amount spent by the business in conveying the product bought by the customers to the customer's premises. When you buy and you have to pay for the transportational cost of your product, it's a carriage in what? When your customers buy, that they have to, you have to pay to convey the products to them, to deliver the products to them. It is the carriage outward, and it is an expenses to the business. The first one is an, is an expenses also, but it is part of your cost of production. The second one is an expenses which goes with your gross, which goes with your net profit or profit for the year. Because at this point in time, you would have sold the product. For this one. You only purchased the product. So for the first one, you've purchased the product, it's going to be part of the amount, you, it's going to be what you have to add up for the price at which you want to sell your product. I guess that's what I'm saying there. That is why carriage inward is part of your trading section or trading account. Because it's still, it's still cut across your purchases. You purchase the product from Dubai and you have to pay for the transportational cost here. You've not sold the product. You have to, put, you have to pay the transportational cost to the price at which you have to sell. So when you sell, now that you, the product has to go to the customers and you have to pay for the delivery, then that becomes an expense which we call carried outwards. Inward goes with trading. Outwards goes with profit and loss. Because at that point in time, you have sold the product. Is it clear? Yeah. I wouldn't want to ask about carriage outward again and you don't tell me the meaning. Carriage outward is the amount of money spent by the business to convey the product or to deliver the product to the customer. Is it clear? Yes. Are you guys writing? Yeah, really like the money is spent on the advertisement. No! Delivery! Delivery, not advertising, delivery. Advertising is at expenses. Um, Adam, for advertising, if you have advertising in our income statement account, where is it going to be? Advertising in the income statement, where do you put it? Advertising, yes. Advertising, does it go with the trading account or profit and loss account? Oh, trading. Advertising? It's the, the loss account. It's the profit. Profit, profit and loss. Because maybe the product is already known. Listen. Yes? Maybe look, I, I lose money on the business and I get profit for showing it to everyone. Before you advertise the product, listen. Before you advertise, stop writing, please. Stop writing and dragging it. It's better you listen more than you write. Before you advertise the product, you would have known the price of the product, yes or no? Yes. So, can you tell me it's part of your cost of production? Oh. No. It's part of the expenses of the product. Because at that point in time, you've, you are done with production. Before you could advertise the product, you would have known the price at which you want to sell the product. Yes or no? So that means, the price, the advertisement will go after, will come after the price has been known. So it is not part of cost of production anymore. It becomes an expenses to the business. Same as carry 
it out what? So advertising is an expenses here. Lighting is an expenses here. Insurance is an expenses. Do we understand? Yeah. Wages is an expenses. Salary is an expenses. 